Okay. Whew. I was fixing to have you start in on whips. I'm like, no, we need to do our intro. Right? I'm sure y'all, y'all OGs know who we are. Yeah. But still need to yeah. do our little thing. <laughs> Man, we need to do this more often. Yeah. Hi and welcome back to me. I couldn't remember if it was like, hello? Like, how did I start? Okay. Are we ready? I feel like I'm sweaty now. Because you're getting nervous. <laughs> Probably so. <laughs> Probably so. The lights are giving off some heat. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Hi! No, that was way too, way too high pitch. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Calm down, Nancy. Hello and welcome or welcome back to our channel. I am Nancy. You can find me on Instagram as Nancy Drew 77. And I'm Yvonne and you can find me on Instagram as Owl Love You. And we are the Nitty Bitty Sisters. Sisters. Hello, hello. Welcome. We are here today at my house and it is, I don't know what the temperature is now, but it was frosty this morning. Mm-hmm. So it's officially a sweater weather. Yes. And we did not plan this. We wore, <laughs> both wore stripy sweaters. Stripy sweaters. Yes. Didn't plan it at all. Nope. But got the memo subconsciously. Yeah. I think when, while I was driving over here, it was like 61, I think, outside. Oh. Still chilly, but so nice. It is. It's not chilly. It's perfect. The wind. I was out there with the dog earlier, and the wind got blowing. I was like, "Oh, it's a little chilly." Mm. In the shade, I'm sure mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. You yeah. want me to go yeah. first? You go first. Okay. We're gonna start with our whips right now. Our works in progress. Um, since I forgot my base camp shrug. I thought I would show it. I have not worked on it for a little while because I've been working on test nuts. Mm. So, but, and of course I'm not at a, let's see if I can get it out of here without pulling it off the needles. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was at an end, uh -oh. but I'm not. Okay, let's see if I can, okay, where is my stitch maca? This is, I think, I think I marked like where, Here? no, it's not, like where I, last time I showed it, maybe I didn't. Okay, well, anyhow. I did a lot more yes. on it. It's lovely. Um, and I wish I would have realized that, hey, I'm bringing it, so let me finish this row. No, I'm right in the middle. How about that? So fun. Mm. But anyway, I'm still oh working goodness. the um, sleeve increases. So you can see right there is this where I'm doing the sleeve increases. I still have a long way to go. Okay, y'all. Here's the pretty side. I love it so much. This mm -hmm. is probably going to be the outside. Oh. Ooh, gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Mm. I love it. And let's see if you can see the sleeve increases a little better. Yeah. Pretty sure that's where it started. Yeah. There's the sleeve increases. Very cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody's doing fireworks. 
Sounds like it. Here in October. We're shooting a gun. It sounds too fast to be a gun, but whatever. But anyway. So pretty. And that is by so 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 Knits. Yeah, Suzanne Summer. The Base Camp Shrug. Cannot recommend it enough. It is so fun. It's not hard. It's just a lot of stitches right now. It takes a long time to get across one row. That's probably why it stopped in the middle, huh? Probably got tired and I was like, oh, oh. see ya. Let me put you down before I start <laughs> dropping stitches. Yes, me. dozing off. Yep. And then I started doing some test knits and there it sits. So I'm sorry. She'll wait for you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Because I was hoping to be able to wear it this winter, but I don't see that happening. Oh. I don't. Unless you put down everything else, but I'm doing a big test knit. Well, we both are. We signed up together. <laughs> it's a secret, so can't say anything. Yeah, but it's a it's a pretty good size, so it's gonna take a while. Yeah. So I can take. Yeah. So I don't see that getting done anytime soon. Anytime soon. Yeah. But that's okay. That's fine. It's okay. And what's funny is I told myself, I'm like, okay, Yvonne, I'm not going to do any more test knits so I can just knit on what I want to knit on. But then you showed me that one. I was like, hey, I wonder if she needs any more <laughs> test knitters. Hey, I signed up. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> I signed up. And I was like, Yvonne. What have I done? <laughs> no, I'm excited though. Good, good, I'm really good. excited for it. Yep. <laughs> I know. Here I am working on sweaters that, you know, take forever because things jump in front. Oh, that's a pretty. Oh, that's a pretty. Mm -hmm. And so the sweaters kind of get pushed back. And I'm considering doing a test knit for a sweater. And I'm just like, no. Like I even told you, the sweatshirt one. Yeah. And I'm like, oh. I want to do it. And you're I was like, like, don't do it. I was like, are you real? I was like, just wait till the pattern comes out. You can buy the pattern. It's already test knitted, it. yeah. you know. No stress. stress. All the, yeah. And then I go and sign up for another test knit. <laughs> oh, well, I'm a, I'm a sucker for them. I can't, I can't help it. I know. Cause then, you, well, like this one, it's like a mystery, so we don't mm -hmm. we don't even know what we're right knitting. What we're making, yeah, yeah, and but usually there's a picture, yeah. you know, and it's like you can kind of visualize it. Yeah, yeah, I want to, you know, I want to test knit for that, so that way you can get the pattern. It is very hard, though. I will say for a mystery knit along, picking colors. Oh my goodness! I'm just like, will this go? Will this go? And you're trusting the designer to give you you know, feedback that's yeah. Yeah. not going to lead you astray. And it's just like, okay. Is this, yeah. Yeah. I know. But I think your colors are really good. I yeah. like yours too. They're very subtle. But, oh well. It's going to be pretty. All right. My first whip, active whip that I'm going to be showing, <laughs> is... <laughs> The Desperate Housewife Cardigan, Crinkle Crinkle Pop, Melanie Berg. Pretty. I've shown, yeah. shown this. It's been a while. I'm sure I'm going to eventually gonna have to buy that. See, that's the bad thing is I want to knit all the sweaters. Yes. But they take too long. They take a while. Hmm. But I want a wardrobe of sweaters. I know. So this is, I've said it before, this is a cardigan pattern, but I'm making it a pullover for the steaking. I've added steaking stitches so I can just knit in the round. Um, top down, I've added my fourth color out of seven. This is, I'm using Three. Yarntopia. Yarn B Yarntopia <gasps> from Hobby Lobby. Oh, it's so soft. It's my goodness. Acrylic. Oh, my goodness. Soft. Oh, that's 
going to be so cozy. Um, this color is called Spice. Do they still have that available? Or is that one they've discontinued? No, there's some still. Mm -hmm. Some colors, I think, have gone away, but okay. the majority of them are there. That I, is really soft. I have, um, for the size I'm making, stopped increasing. So now it's just going to be knit, knit so far till separation for sleeves. Okay. And I tried it on the other day, and I was like, oh, Excited! It's just a little baby cape right now. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, that's really soft. I'm gonna have to get you some. Thought? Do you not have your Topia? I thought you might have had one or two. No. I don't think so. And see the. And it's what weight? Sport. What does it look like? Um. No. 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 I do not. Oh, man, that's nice. 100% acrylic. Yeah. And see the thing, you see the sticker right here? Yeah. It was Clarence. That's Clarence. Dollar 12. But the thing with, okay, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Hobby Lobby. They have um, single lot, single lot die sale where like um, the lot, that's right, right? What's it's called? The lot number mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of the die. When they only have one of a single die lot, then they clearance it because you don't want your yarn to match. And so... Ever so often, Hobby Lobby does this sale. They're not getting rid of the, of the color or the line. They're just getting rid of the single dye lots. And with a striped sweater like that, perfect opportunity to buy yeah. uh, the, the single colors. Because, I mean, perfect. yeah. Perfect. So. And... I've got a certain somebody insider that tells me when the yarn goes on sale. Who could that be? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um. Any money, I don't know what's in this bag. Oh, I do too. No. Um, this bag is by Trish of Pink Owl Stitches. Cute. Very cute. Very cute. Bought by a certain someone. That was a gift. Gift. So bag. cute. <laughs> um, and the reason I chose this bag is because what is in here is... I don't know if y'all have seen the new gnome by Imagined Landscapes. It's called Someone to Write Gnome About. He has socks. He's so cute. He is so adorable. And I saw Trish. She, she is one of the better ones that it's a mystery knit along, like we were just talking about. Uh -huh. Um... I don't do well with mystery knit-alongs very much. Um, I'll get excited, you know, about the, like the beginning and then the hype with it. Yes. Yeah. And then go along and it's like, oh, I'm really not liking this. So that was what this was, was a mystery knit-along. But it was, you knew you were getting a gnome. Right. But you just didn't know what gotcha. it looked okay. like. As soon as I saw that it had socks, I was like, go and purchase the pattern. And where do I sign I was it? like, yeah. that is so stinking cute. And Trish was doing it too. And so I went and bought the pattern, got my yarns together, and put it in her bag. Oh. Yeah. Um, I can't find her nose. 
I know it's in here. Do you want me to hold something? Hello? Mm. Where are you? There it is. Way in the bottom. Way, way in the bottom. Okay. So these are the colors that I'm doing. The body is going to be this color, Key Lime colorway by so sorry. Oh, well, apparently I didn't put it in here. Twisted Al Fibers Doniel. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Can't get that. Sorry. I like how it it's not striping, but it's it's got Yeah. It? There's its little legs, and that's what the body will be. Legs. I don't know if you can see the subtle striping in there. And then this one is, it's a yarn that I got when um, I went to Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And here's the hat started. Anyway, I tried like several different um, patterns with this yarn and I just wasn't happy with it. I'm like, you know what? It's going to be for the little gnome Aww. for her little hat. Cute. But it is kettle dyed from Lancaster County, Aww. Pennsylvania. It was funny because I bought a thing. It said LYS, you know, usually LYS is local yarn store. Well, this was Lancaster yarn store. In Pennsylvania. In the Amish country. Mm -hmm. It was so fun to see that. But it's 75% um, it's superwash merino and 25% nylon. The name is rhubarb. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. Feel it. It's not very soft mm -hmm. at all. It's, it's kind of toothy. So, yeah. Is so, it? when I was, like, feel it. Oh, yeah. I kept trying to make socks with it, and I was like, I just, no. I just can't. It just does not feel nice. Is it 100% wool? No. 75% 75 superwash wool. It's not merino, though. And 25% nylon. Yeah. But. It feels toothy. Yeah. It feels like it's 100% wool. Because. Yep. Not very nice. But anyway, she's going to have a cute hat. Yes. And I don't have to feel it all the time. Right. Doesn't have to be on your skin. Now that on the whole round. It looks super soft. And it it's super soft. nice and soft. But anyway. Did I halo to it. Did I? Where's her nose? Did you find it? <laughs> Did I throw it back oh, in no. there? Is that it? Yeah. yeah. I threw it back in there. There's her little nose. Yeah, she's so cute. Little nose. So her skin will be this color. And then I'm going to make, this is the, um, what's that? Is it? It's from Knit Picks. Okay, that's what I was thinking. What is it called? I've got one of the things in here. The palette. Um, they've got like a bazillion colors in it, but it's not very soft either. It's, it's kind of soft. Um, I think. Softer than that other, oh, that's yeah, for sure. Definitely. This is a hundred percent Peruvian Highland wool. Mm. But anyway, and then she's going to get braids cute. in this. Be so cute. Yes. She's going to be a cute little gnome. Mm -hmm. But... I took her on vacation with me and worked. That was the only. It's funny. I took three projects on vacation. She's the only one that I worked on. I didn't get much knitting time. Because I was having too much fun. Yeah. 
female that hike and pictures and all the GS. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good. At least she got some stuff done. Yeah. So what else are you working on? How many did I tell you? Three? Yep. Excuse me. I like that bag so much. <laughs> the scrappy thread. That's I think I buy. showed it the last time. Uh-huh. Yes. I'm going to have to write that down so I can go um, check it out. Find her. What are you so working I on? I added... I'm sorry. Hello! <laughs> that is so pretty. This is the Brioche Adventure by Made by Talo. So Ooh. I'm working on a brioche project as well. Oh, that Ooh. squish. I love the squish that brioche gets. Oh, I do too. Absolutely. That is gorgeous. Wow. So we have... This is the front side. And then... What is your, this, the front will be your main color and then your contrast color. And then when you add the next different color, color three, that contrast color becomes your main color and then you add in your contrast. So on my next color block, blue will be on the front side. Interesting. Interesting. So you use, like it's, I don't know, I like it. Like how the con concept. Another pattern I might have to mm -hmm. buy. It's so pretty. It is. Yeah, I like it's brioche. Pretty. It's so squishy, and especially when you get into the thicker yarns of brioche. Oh, I bet. I bet. It's I would just... just love to have a blanket yes. made out of brioche. I just think that would just be so squishy and nice. Mm hmm. Help me remember to ask again. Okay. Like, who did the bag and the the pattern? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the yarn is McMullen fibers, and this is the blue that I'm doing. That is so pretty. I really like her dye style. So mm -hmm. pretty. Mm -hmm. These colors right up my alley. That is gorgeous. Oh, I can't. Sorry, I can't show you. You won't have a right view. Here. Try. I'll help fold it. Maybe. Maybe. Pretty, pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Got them all falling out. Ooh, they are pretty. Thank you. But this... She might be missing that bag. <sighs> when I go home. How? Even the colors match your... Mm, yeah. I hadn't thought about mm. that. I like the stuff. handles that it's looks ruler. like little yeah ruler. Mm -hmm. That's cute, cute, cute. It's very, very high quality. Mm -hmm. I know I've got a few um, of the patchwork bags, and they're some of my favorites. I yes, just, I don't know. They remind me of that, like Granny's quilt yes. that you know they made or whatever, yes. and I just. I'm a sucker for it. I know. I keep seeing them pop up on Instagram. I was like, oh, I want that one. I want that one too. But there's no money in the bank account. I have to pass. Yeah. But I think last time I said we got a raise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. I'll now, be seeing more scrappy stuff, huh? Scrappy bags. Maybe. Maybe. But. Maybe more yarn. Definitely more yarn. <laughs> But since I've got so much yarn already, it's like I, I'm buying more patterns. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Uh, All right. Next. Um, speaking of. Oh. Scrappy. There we go. Yeah. Cute. That is by This Handmade Life, Olivia. Very I've gotten um, a couple of her mm -hmm. scrappy bags and I just I don't know I've got a like this one kind of reminds me more springy and then I've got one that's darker kind of reminds me of fall mm -hmm. but at home um I am making 
I kept seeing um, these slippers on Instagram by Nifty Knits Design. And I'm like, those are so cute. They would be like a cute, quick gift too. Gotcha. They're Nifty's slippers. No. Oh. And I made one so far. So cute. And um, looks very the cozy. pattern. Yeah, it's the, what is it? I mean, this, I still have tons of yarn. What is it? Bernat? Bernat? I don't know how to pronounce it. Velvet? It's a uh, bulky. The pattern calls for super bulky, which I did not have, but I was like, maybe I can make notes, <laughs> follow the pattern, and just make notes and knit one. It's a little snug on my foot, um, but my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law both have smaller feet than me, so it will prob the pair will probably go to one of them. And the plan, my plan is to get um, some of those, they're like a cheaper, what did I say it was? Insole? Mm. Like just a little foam insole to slip in there and then get some kind of like grippy for the bottom. But anyway. That would yeah. be slick on the... Yeah, I think it would with that velvety they're real soft and slick mm -hmm. and then this part is not in the pattern I, with the little tail I just kind of crocheted and then sewed it and I'm gonna put a button there cute yeah cute idea and like I made it in a day so just in like a few hours I had it done wow so I know I can do a pair you know, gift, yeah. for a gift. Very mm -hmm. neat. Yeah. This isn't really a whip, but I wanted to talk about it. <laughs> um, the book club cardigan by Sorry Norlin. I've been seeing, I guess it came out recently and a cow just finished and everybody's finishing their cardigans. It is oh. beautiful. Mm. Beautiful. It's cables cardigan, v-neck, just, I don't know, cozy, okay? <laughs> and so, um, I went and got yarn for um, the weight that it calls for, okay? Mm -hmm. And I did a sample swatch for it. Sorry, that way. So, it's got seed stitch between the diamonds and okay. then another like a horseshoe cable nice. type thing going yeah. up and then reverse stockinette and nice between like that is going to be all over and then there's also moss stitch pretty i like that tweedy mm -hmm. yarn that is so pretty and then fun so i did not get gauge her with pattern, this? yeah, with okay. this yarn. I used the needle size that it calls for. It calls for a US 6. And I had to go down a needle size to get, try to get gauge, okay? Okay, so this is bigger than uh -huh. what it calls for. Okay. Yes. Yes. So I tried in it. <laughs> so then I tried a different yarn, same size, um, worsted. And this this is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn tweed, or I love this tweed, I think is what it's actually called. Okay. Um, but then they have 100% wool yarn. I love this wool. Mm. Same, same thing, you know. Pretty swatch. Same, um, same needle size. Same needle size. So okay. I was seeing in yarn oh, differences. Is yeah. it gonna change? And then, but it's but it did smaller. It's smaller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's still not difference. Still not quite gauge. And mm -hmm. I didn't bother. This is still bigger. Yes. Interesting. 
and but I didn't do a moss stitch gauge. I just did the cable okay. to try it out. Then, so backstory: when I went to go get this yarn, I was going to be off some from work for a few days. So I was like, I know I want to go ahead and swatch. Let me go get yarn. Okay. Mm -hmm. I originally wanted white. They didn't have it, so that's why I got the yellow to test. Only got one skein of mm -hmm. each, mm -hmm. and. So then when the white came in, I was like, let me try to swatch again with a smaller needle <laughs> in the white that I wanted. Yeah. And then this is a US 4. Okay. And it is gauge. Okay. So you know which yarn needles to use then. I missed a cable there, but feel how soft that ended up being. I was like, ooh. Ooh. And it feels softer than the yellow. It does. Weird. I don't know why. So this is what you're going to do the sweater in. That's yeah. going to be very nice. Oh, thank that, you. Thank you. that is a lot softer. And I did, uh, soaked them. Uh, you really can't, acrylic does not change uh -huh. in, in blocking, but. It is, I mean, this is still soft, but this is a little softer. Yeah. Like where, right um, there where the. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what makes Interesting. It, softer but it is so anyway well so cool so well you're a good girl for swatching <laughs> well I'd... i would have just took off and like started it and then did like checked gauge mm -hmm. and then adjusted from there maybe that is me. But... so i had all this steam to go for this because there is a cozy cal cozy knit, knit along going on yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember who it is. No, Fiber. I'm sorry. It's going to be right here. I think it's Fiber and Fox. Anyway, sorry. This is the name of the car, of the knit along people, and it's mm -hmm. going through February. It started a few days ago, and it's going through February. I was like, oh, perfect time to do a cabled cardigan. Mm, well... Now that's been put on the back burner for <laughs> a test knit. So I don't know if I'll get started on it, but anyway, I have my plan of action. Well, that's good. So you've got your notes written down mm -hmm. that I need to, yes. I need to use size four for this with this yarn. Yeah. Well, that's good. But there's other, but if it's through February, Surely no. you've... No. Mm -mm. You should know me more than they know me. That's going to be a no. <laughs> I mean, if you dropped everything else, because do you have to finish it? Oh, I don't know. I don't think you have to finish. I think it was just the community aspect of a knit along. Yeah. 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 But I don't know if you have to finish it for the... If there's any price, I don't know if there's any prices you need either with that. Yeah. Because as soon as I'm done with this, one of the patterns that I bought, I'm hopping on that one. Yeah. Do you want to? We'll discuss talk? that okay. during um, acquisitions. Yes. <laughs> okay. It's party. So, anyway, that's the end of that. I'll keep you updated I'll still make it and the brown I probably still will make a cabled something sweater okay. top garment because you got a bunch no I only bought one oh okay one of everything okay just to see what yeah and then yeah with I like that that's pretty with work you can do and give you a little tip an insider tip um you can do something called a rain check and get the same dye lot ordered for sweaters worth of quantity. Sweaters quantity worth of yarn. So it'll oh. all match. So. So when it comes in, then it doesn't go on the shelf. They just call and say, mm -hmm. hey, it's in. Your yarn's here for pickup. I'm like, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So I am still going to order the yarn because I do want to make it. I don't know why you waited this long to say anything. I know. I'm sorry. Terry. 
Now we know. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that in your back pocket. Yeah. Okay. I didn't remember where I left off. Yeah. I've got just one more. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Just one more. Um, This is in one of the bags we got from Maureen and her little... It was a Halloween mm -hmm. something last year? Or was that the year before? I think it was the year before. We went to Bliss Yarns in Brentwood. Brentwood. I always call it Nashville. Yeah, it's Nashville. It's, it's blended together. It's kind of like Dallas-Fort Worth. You just went to Dallas. Um, Cassie with Big Sky yarn company what did a trunk show there and we're like hey let's go check her out got to see her she's such a sweet sweet lady yes sweet lady and she looks like she's got the sweetest family always like seeing her pictures mm -hmm. anyway so one of the one of the yarns that i purchased when we went down there. Put your sunglasses on. Oh, it's got some neon yellow in there. It's super bright. Yes, super bright. It is called Egg Hunt, but as soon as I saw it, I'm like, that reminds me of Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> Even though, and I just saw her post several like Halloween or fall colors. Oh yeah. And one of them is Beetlejuice. Oh. I was like, of course. I could have waited, but anyway, so, um, I kept looking to see what, um, sock pattern to do. I was like, you know what? Just make your own. So I did. Awesome. Yeah. Look at you being in inventive. Yeah. Oh, it's mm. on the sparkle base too. So it's sparkly. Okay, I just put a little cute little cable in there. Toe up, of course. I'm not done yet. Um, and it's just on the one side. So when I do the other sock, then it will go up this side. And then that side will just be. So mostly just vanilla, except for the little cable that I found in my book nice. of stitch patterns. So, yeah. It... It represents, there's three, kind of, so it's like the three main characters. So it's like Beetlejuice and then the newer movie anyway. Beetlejuice, the mom, and the daughter is what it's representing. If you want to go old school, the old school Beetlejuice, it can represent Beetlejuice and the husband and wife. <laughs> there you go. So I'm having a lot of fun doing that. It's like I said, it's, it's just easy. Yeah. But having fun with Aww, that. Cool. Yeah. There again. It's on the back burner right now. I was hoping to have them done to wear for Halloween this year, but they'll be done for next year. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. And that is all my works in progress. Okay. And that was all my current work work in progress oh i do Wait. have one more project a whip yes where is it i forgot about a test net i did can you show yeah huh that's uh pattern has already been released it's called hi hiya hiya i guess um horseshoe socks and that was by socken socken how do you pronounce that in German? Socken? Van Pien? Um, and this pattern has already been released. Oh. And I did not finish mine. Uh oh. Yeah. Because looks she like released you, it. Looks like you got the toe to finish. Yep. I just need to do the toe. Kitchener. Well. Or do you... I still need to de do decreases. Oh. I started doing the decreases, and then I was like, oh, this is... Oh, my gosh. Get on there. Do you know? It's getting... 
that's what it was doing to my foot too. Oh, because I think it might be, <laughs> I think it might be a little too tight for my foot. Oh. Hopefully not. Yeah. Look at that. Anyway, oh, so the pattern is you can do it. Yeah, I'm working on the decreases. <laughs> there it is. Aww. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. You can either do the pattern striped or you can do it solid. And I chose to do the striped because um, when she was asking, do you want to do the striped version or the solid? And I said, yeah, I'll do the striped. So anyway... Awesome. Yeah. Turn the burning. Uh oh. Heel flapping goes it, y'all. Picked up stitches. No holes. I'm getting better. Mm. Thank you, Rachel. She showed me the trick. Use a crochet hook. Pick those bad boys up. But yeah. Very good. Anyway. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm done. Okay. Sorry. I was like, I knew when I was putting this back, I was like, I had another sock to put on here. <laughs> gotcha. Is your um, <laughs> muscle burrow still at work? Yes. Okay. It's still at work. I didn't know if you would bring it or not. Uh, I thought about it, but it's just knitting. Yeah. Stuck in it. There's nothing fancy about yeah. it. It's just same, but longer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that is all my whips. I do have a couple FOs to share. <laughs> First up, finished objects for Nancy. Yeah. Uh, and not for Yvonne. What? what? <laughs> Cute. Look how cute she oh is. She's a thick chick right there. Yeah, her is. She's done, completely done. Remember last time I still was had the bottom open and was stuffing her? She is completely finished. I made it a so point. So cute. I wanted to work on other objects and other projects. And I was like, you have to finish something to start something new, Nancy. So I finished her. She's done. She is cute. Thank you. Cute, cute. She is going to be a gift. Yep. So I have not named her. Yep. She's a chubby gal. Yes. That's and so cute, though. <laughs> I like how chubby she is. Like, feel because. Her. She's just... <laughs> <laughs> and there's actually room she could be even better. Probably Too so. cute. Have you ever seen the little. Um, I don't know, like little figurines, the little birds that are just like so fat. I'll, I'm always drawn to those. And so <laughs> that's what she reminds me of. Aww. So cute. Too funny. So this is the Emotional Support Chicken by The Knitting Tree LA. Um, they do have a crochet version of the pattern if you want to go that route. But we did, I did the knitting, mm -hmm. knitting option. But yes. I used more of the Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. It's just convenient to get for me. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. But this was... Since you don't have to go shopping. You just, right, just, just walk. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Grab it on my break. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> this was leftover yarn of a blanket that I'd made. So it was in my stash. I still got cool, cool, cool. more of the yarn. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But anyway, yes, she is finished. Cute. <laughs> so cute. No finished objects? No finished okay. objects. Surprise, surprise. I've got one more to talk about, but it is not here. The Advent Cowl, Advent 2021 oh, yeah, yeah, Cowl yeah. that I was making, it's finished. I shipped it off to Maureen that she had it in time for her DFW Fiber Fiber. Fiber. Yeah, Fiber yep. Festival there. I miss um, going to it. Oh, it would have been fun to go to. <sighs> and it is, it's an amazing one. Isn't it? It's huge. Oh. Yeah. I miss going. Yeah. Yep. Maybe we need to go to that instead of Rhinebeck. I don't know. 
Maybe both. But one year we go there, uh, and then, uh, and then we go this way, and then we go this do way. Do a little, do a travel hopping. Yeah. Um, but here's a couple pictures in uh, that I'll insert in there. Um, I used That's so pretty. five, around five grams, maybe seven, I think, somewhere in there. I do have a project page on Ravelry. Okay. That, per color. Per color. Okay. And then. Tons of the main color left over. <laughs> um, at least half of the skein over 50 grams. Wow. So, um, but I'm going to use that yarn in another project that I already have planned. Um, but I haven't started. But anyway, yeah. Glad to get it done and off the needles. So I know. It's always nice to get something finished. You feel accomplished. It's like, oh, all my knitting is, you know. Not just knitting and knitting and knitting. Yep. Yeah. Get to have the, the final object. Yes. The the accomplishment of okay. Yes. Yeah. I know. All right. Instead of all the piles of whips. The mountain. The <laughs> Seems to be growing. That is the way it is in my house anyway. Yeah. Mine too. I know. Mine's continuing to grow because, like you said, oh, squirrel, shiny. And like that one new sweater pattern that popped up mm -hmm. oh, is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to start it. You are going to make it? Yes. Oh. Yes. I think that's my next thing that's going to hop on the needles when I get done with this. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah. We I am, can. I am done with finishing. Um, I guess we'll move into acquisitions. That is one of the ones that I did. Um, I bought that pattern. Let's see. It is the three season pullover by Wool and Pine. And, ugh. It is just so pretty. And we were talking about, you know, knitting a cabled sweater and they kept teasing, teasing, yes. putting like little bits were like, Ooh, it's like, Oh, what Ooh. are they coming out with? Ooh. And then when they revealed the whole thing, I was like, Holy cow. That is so pretty. So, yeah, and since they were, um, they put that out, then they did, like, all of their cabled patterns they had a discount on. So, I ended up buying a couple more. I bought the Snowdrift Mittens. So pretty. Sorry, my hand is shaking. And then you said you've got this one? Mm-hmm. Ponderosa. Yeah. I've seen it somewhere. I like it's how, like, like, it just looks like it's mm -hmm. just cozy. Kind of boxy. And yeah. Like, yeah. It is very pretty. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited about that. Good. Yeah. Okay. Uh... I bought a couple as well. Um, book club cardigan. I went ahead and bought that pattern. Mm -hmm. um, and in um, my hunt for a cabled garment, <laughs> Hohi Locatelli has released, had released oh. Emery vest and pull. Is what it says. I would think pullover, but yeah. if you can do a vest or do options for sleeves, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I would make the sleeves, the sleeve version. And I was like, that is beautiful. Oh, yeah, that is pretty. It's another option of, um, it's got those diamonds. It looks mm. like the same, almost the same, like a uh, reverse stockinette, seed stitch in the middle. Oh. Yeah. And, cable. and then the like horseshoe type in the middle there. Mm -hmm. And then just not a cardigan but a sweater. Pretty. So I was like, oh, let me get that much because 
it was on sale. Yeah. If you're going to buy something, buy something on sale. That's all I'm going to say. Yep. But yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Sure. Anywho. Um, yeah. I don't know when I would do that one. I could probably do that one in the brown. That might be an option. Brown yarn. I don't know. I didn't check the weight. Mm. But. True. Yeah, because if it's not worsted, then that wouldn't work. I'm gonna show yarn. Oh, acquisitions. Yeah. So those were our pattern acquisitions. Yes. Now we have acquisitions of the squishy and tactile kind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so there again, we went to Bliss and hung out with. Cassie for a little bit and bought some yarn. So I got that one that I already showed doing the sock. And then I also got this one. Um, it's called Eat Your Greens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love all those greens. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Okay, I originally got it to make my husband a pair of socks. I think that's changed maybe. I think I'm gonna be Look at little, you. I think I'm gonna be a little selfish. Your glasses, like everything. She's very green today, isn't she? Yarn, glasses, earrings. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. And it was funny when I was looking in my yarn for that test net we're doing, I've got a lot of greens. <laughs> I'm like, I must be drawn to green because oh. like there's a lot of greens and then there's some pinks, but a lot, of greens. a lot of greens. So have you changed the plan for this sock, for this yarn? It's going to be a pair of socks, but, uh, I'm getting a pair first. <laughs> and then if there's any leftover, then Gary can have a pair. But yeah, I'm like, oh, it's, it's just... very pretty. Oh, no. oh. I love her yarn. Yes. I'm starting to get several of hers. Mm -hmm. She's got some good stuff. Good colors. Mm -hmm. She got as well, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I was <laughs> at almost. Ugh. I was at a weak state. Uh oh. When I was at work today, I got on to um, Happy Mermaid. Oh. <laughs> their website. <laughs> or their Etsy shop, I uh -huh. should say. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh my goodness, I didn't realize how much yarn they have. Oh, there's a bunch. Oh, so pretty. I was like, I want that one. I was like, hey, Vaughn, that... be good. One of the yarns I'm using is hers, theirs, their sisters. But yeah. The purple, green, gold color. Mm -hmm. Happy Mermaid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And one of Cassie's, another colorway I'm using of hers in that test net. <laughs> Too funny. Yep. Do you want to show? Okay. Um... Before we went on um, vacation last week, last week was um, fall break at school. And so that's usually when we do our vacation is during fall break. Because the way Gary's year lines up, it's every August. Oh, nice. And by the time he's getting his vacation, huh, I'm back in school. So then we always just do it during fall break. It works out. Yeah. So we went to um, Townsend, which is in the Smokies. We we have done Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg right. a couple times. We're done with that. Too touristy. Mm, yes. We the stuff that we wanted to see or do we did. Um. So 
I don't care if we ever go back. I really don't care. Yeah. But the Smokies are still beautiful. I love Townsend. It's just a little bitty town just nestled in the mountains there. Um, I have been going, wanting to go to Cades Cove several times. We went about three years ago and they had the road closed. It was big old gate and said that it was closed because they were doing road construction. I was not a happy camper because that was the main reason of going. Right. So we, we finally got, to, I, before we left, I made sure that there was nothing on the schedule, that it was going to be closed. So we got to go. Good. But anyway, before, cause I had one day that I was home by myself. And Trish, yet again, of Pink Owl Stitches, she did an update and had a bunch of super cute bags. If you have not seen her bags, go check them out. They're very well made. Yes. Super cute fabrics. There were several I wanted to get, but like the little, I think it's a farm it's got a, like a fall farm look. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get that one too, but I'm like, <laughs> oh. Anyway, I got this one. Aww. Isn't that super cute? Mm -hmm. And there's a hair. Oh. Super cute. Gonna, gonna be hairs. Yes. Very cute. Yes, so cute. Box bottom. Yeah. Aww. And there's the inside. So cute. I was telling them, look, cables. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh. mm -hmm. I was telling Nancy, I was like, you know, I'm getting, I want all these project bags, but I was like, what do I do with them all? <laughs> Can't really fill them all up. I mean, I could, but that would just be overwhelming and stressful to me. So we were like, well, just swap them around put take the project out of there put it in the new one <laughs> or finish carry it around like when you finish one start your new project in this bag yeah maybe. i don't know maybe well lock it very nice so cute all the little sayings on there yes so cute please go check her out yes her link is below. Um, it'll take you straight to her her shop. That's all I have. Yes. Okay. I've got <laughs> Yarny, Yarny. So on my trip to Bliss, I got something as well. Sorry. Some Nemi Nemi Surrey Silk Cloud. Mm -hmm. Oh, can you see it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one is called Bone Dry. 74% uh, baby Siri alpaca, 26% silk, 328 yards to 50 grams. And this one is on her pecan base. I mean, pecan colorway. Same base. Mm -hmm. Do you have any plans yet? <laughs> so, yes, Let's add it to the stash. Yes and no. Yes and maybe. Okay. I uh, went trying to, from the beginning, I've tried to buy yarn, the majority of the yarn, with a project in mind. Mm -hmm. So I went with looking for a certain yarn. And I don't know how to pronounce it. The name is here. It's a wrap. That has a main color held and then minis, like different okay. stripes, but they don't go all the way across the width of it. I think I showed you a picture. Interesting. I and think then, I do remember, yeah. But I'm gonna hold mm. the plan was I got them, I'm gonna hold it together and use it as a main the main color. But I don't know if it'll be enough for the yardage wise because this is only mm. 328 and even held together it would still be that right 
-hmm. So it calls for a full size gain of fingering, which is 400 plus. So okay. I don't know if that's going to change the plans of it because mm -hmm. the stripes that I want to do, um, I've got yarn already for an advent, 24 colors. So mm -hmm. there's really no, I mean, I could, you know, remove some of the colors, but mm -hmm. Huh? Break it up. Yeah. Yeah. Feel it. It's very soft. Very soft. I like some Siri. Mm-hmm. I got me I got me some too. On vacation. Uh -huh. I guess we forgot it at home. Oh. You're gonna have to show it. I'll post a picture on our page. Or on my page and and Shit. like double mm -hmm. put it on both of ours. Yeah. I guess that's all. I'm sure we could talk even yep. longer. Yeah. It's already been an hour over an hour. Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you've had a beverage, a snack. Pause it and go get a snack. It's too late now. Yes. We're done now, but. Yeah. Break it up between days. Blab I've done that. Blabber. Before. Yeah. Blabber mouths. <laughs> That's what you're here for, right? <laughs> Just knit along and listen to us blabber on. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm. Please click the like button and subscribe and note subscribe. And click the notification bell so you'll get notified when we release another video. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. Bye. Happy knitting. Don't do that. Please. <laughs> oh, I should have done this first. Wasting precious battery. But it's at a hundred, so it should be fine. It should be fine. No, just fine. Starting to get stuff together. Woo! What? Not right. I'm sorry. <laughs> the the things are on. Is it still too bright? I'll be okay. Okay. I feel like my hair is stupid. No, leave it. Stop touching it. It's cute. Before what before I left work, I'm like, I have got to go to the bathroom. I'm not gonna make it all coming all that way. Yeah. So I checked and like half of this was like undone and just hanging. <laughs> I was like, why didn't anybody say something that um your hair's falling out? So it's officially a sweater weather. Yes. Well shall I? Mm. In the shade, I'm sure mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll take it over the hot. Yes. I hate the hot. I do too. Ugh. I do not like summer. Mm -hmm. It's gone. But I would, I like summer better than winter. I don't like winter at all. Mm. I don't like the cold. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. I don't know. I think I might even, take winter over summer though. Even though I like to knit all the knits. All the cozies. And, yes. Yeah. And wear... Where all the cozies, like you said. I don't know. I don't know. Winter's like, I don't know. It's just depressing. Like, the leaves are gone. It's yeah. gray a lot. I'm like, Ugh. everything's dead looking. Mm. I do find joy in the snow, though. When everything is, like, in the early morning. And the sun is up, so you can see it shining, and it's like glistening and so quiet. It's like, I like it. Well, since I work at a school, I do get to have snow days. So there you go. Maybe it has I its should, benefits. Maybe I should like it. <laughs> and, like, okay, around here we've got, like, I don't know what they're called, rock bluffs or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, the road, they had to blast the stone out of the way. and But they still seep. And when it's freezing, mm -hmm. like these ice sickles are hanging from those rocks. I think that is, that is so cool. That is pretty. That is really cool. 
there's some there's some beauty to winter. There there is, you know. I I do try to find the joy of winter. Even though it's, it's hard depressing. though. Huh? <laughs> it's, it's depressing. All mm. right. But it's fall now. Yeah. I love the fall. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're all hold up. Mm. Brioche. Yeah. Is that okay with the yeah. in the middle of the row? That's fine. Oh, it's late. Time is six thirteen. Holy cow! Yeah, Gary's probably called a few times. When are you coming? Oh, you're coming home tonight. When are you coming? My belly's been growing. I don't know if you can hear it. Uh -uh. Good. Sorry. <laughs> there. Good? Maybe? Mm -hmm. I yeah. don't know. 